Hi, you are welcome to our SPSS and Statistics training program. Today, we are looking at SPSS data coding and entry for Likert Skill Questionnaire. My name is Williams and I will be your instructor for this training. We can link up on Facebook on Say Africa and Twitter and Instagram at Say Africa one Enjoy the lesson. So let's say you collect data with a Likert Skill Questionnaire. Likert Skill Questionnaires are the type of questionnaires where we have strongly agree, agree, mm -hmm. neutral, disagree, strongly disagree. Sometimes we may have never, really, sometimes, very often, always. I believe these kind of questionnaires are very common in the system. We see them all around almost every day. But before we go on to how we can code and enter data for a Likert score questionnaire. Let me give you some tips. Let's take a look at this item. Let's say this is one of the items on my instrument. I can download materials from the e-learning platform to enhance my studies. This is the item. It is a question for respondents. The researcher has two options, whether to put this arrangement, the red arrangement from SA to SD or to use SD to SA. Now, when you're using SA to SD, then SA is 1, A is 2, N is 3, D is 4, and strongly disagree is 5. If you are using SD to SA, then strongly disagree is 1, disagree is 2, neutral is 3, agree is four and strongly agree is five each of them is correct but they have implications let us take them one after the other now if you use the first option the red one for your Likert skill questionnaire that is the options that respondents are supposed to select from from sa to sd strongly agree to strongly disagree where strongly agree is one and strongly disagree is five. If someone chooses strongly agree to this item, I can download materials from the e-learning platform to enhance my studies. The person who chooses strongly agree is getting one and the person who chooses strongly disagree is getting five. Look at the implication. The person who says he strongly agrees is saying that yes i can perform this positive activity and he's getting one for being able to perform this positive activity the person who says he strongly disagrees meaning he's saying that no i cannot do this positive activity that person is getting five so you mean that the smaller the number the more likely the person is able to perform this positive activity and then the bigger the number, the less likely the person is able to perform this activity. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't follow logic. Now, when you go for the second option, the black one, SD is 1, disagree is 2, neutral is 3, agree is 4, strongly agree is 5. When someone chooses strongly disagree, he's saying that, no, I cannot do this activity. So the person is getting 1. The person who chooses strongly agree is saying, yes, I can do this activity. It is a positive activity. I can do it. And that person is getting five. This makes sense because the smaller the number, the less likely the person is able to perform this activity. But the bigger the number, the more likely the person is able to perform this activity. It doesn't mean that the red one is wrong. You need to understand what they mean so that you can apply them appropriately when you are doing your analysis because they will have implications. Now let's go to our data coding and entry. So let's say this is what we have on our Lakers scale question. So we have strongly disagree one to strongly agree five. Now, the item we are going to code, the first one is the content of the lesson was clear. So this item is actually talking about clarity. 
So we go to our SPSS. We know the rules for the name. It doesn't accept spaces and we cannot begin with a number. So clarity. That's the first item. It accepts the numeric is okay because we're going to enter numbers. Weight is eight. That's the default is okay. Decimal, we can leave it at two because we have explained what they mean. Now, the label. So maybe clarity of maybe lesson. That is the label for that item values. Now let's go back to our instrument and see. We are saying that um, one is strongly disagree, two is disagree, and so on up to five. So we code those things. One is SD, two is D. You can write them in four if you are interested. Three is neutral. Four is agree and five is strongly agree. So we add and so on. Missing is okay, column is okay, align is okay, measure. Now look at this. It is called Likert scale. So it is like a ruler that you are measuring what the person thinks about this. So it is not categorical it is a skill we go to the next one the content of the lesson was well delivered so this is called it's on delivery so we can term it as delivery so we go and code it delivery it accepted maybe lesson delivery then we go through the same process one is strongly disagree but because we have coded already we can copy this option and paste here because they also follow the same coding pattern so i add and so on and then i choose scale So we can do same for six and seven. Maybe the six will be example. The name will be example. Let me do, okay, let me do the last one, the six. And then you can try the seventh one. So example, that's use of example. Use of examples in the lesson. So I accept use of examples. And it is also following the same coding pattern. So we can either go through one is SD, two is D, and so on. But I don't want to do that because I've coded already. So I want to copy and paste. If you cannot copy and paste, you can go through the process like that. Maybe I'm lazy. So let me copy and paste. All right. So that is it. I've coded for the first three options items so you can do for the seventh one let's say it is also like, so let's say it is also like this the c part where the options are never really sometimes often and always so the first item on that section is my teacher clearly explains concepts to my understanding so the item is about understanding. So we go and code understanding. And then it accepts it. Then we add the label standing of concepts. And then we do for the values, but note that it is not like the first one. It is never really sometimes often and always as five. 
so one is never two is really and three is sometimes four is very often and then five is always to add and if there is any error you can edit okay and then we we'll go to the next one is on my teacher helps me to express my understanding when teaching so maybe expression is the best word that describes this item maybe expression and then maybe expression of ideas but because it is following the same option measurement as the other one we copy and paste and we choose the skills because it is a liquid school so you can do so for the other options and it will follow the same pattern so let's look at how it has appeared on the data view so we can see that all the items we coded have appeared here i'm expanding it for you to see it clearly and it is ready for data entry so let's say the first person the first respondent clarity he ticked neutral he said three delivery he said one disagree and the use of examples he said five meaning he agrees and then the understanding expression were on never really sometimes often and always so let's say he said sometimes which is three and never which was one and so on so you pick that of the second person you enter the person's response let's say for clarity he said five if he's saying five it means that he strongly agrees and then maybe three for delivery and use of examples he says one which is strongly disagree and for understanding and expression we are measuring them on never really sometimes so let's say very often which was four and never which was one so you do this for all the respondents and you are going to get all your data because you don't have any data I want to duplicate it so that you can do the actual thing when you undertake data collection so when i end here it means that i collected data from eight people so we have been able to do data coding and data entry for Likert skill questionnaire congratulations to us our next lesson is going to look at how to run descriptives for categorical variables and continuous variables thank you have a nice day i am asking that you practice so that you don't forget have a nice lesson time bye